like and subscribe, and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. No parent should ever have to bury a child. Such a circumstance is perhaps one of life's most cruel situations. When it comes to animals, do they understand and grieve it like humans? It's been a hotbed of debate and an area of interest to researchers all over the world. So today, here are 10 ways in which animals say goodbye to the ones they lost. I've noticed that most of you watching this aren't subscribed yet, so if you do like the video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, and you can always change your mind later. And with that said, enjoy the video. Number 10. Gorillas Baby Claudio the gorilla was Ghana's three-month-old baby whom she loved and adored. One day, baby Claudia passed on due to unclear circumstances. Her mother Ghana was heartbroken. After this, she spent the next few days carrying the body around and defended it against zookeepers at Munster Zoo in Germany. Apparently this isn't unusual, as some ape moms won't even let go of their baby's bodies for weeks. If that isn't love, then I don't know what is. Other activities that scientists have observed include comrades gathering around the body, grooming, touching, and interacting with them. Some males also engage in antagonistic behaviors, including chest beating, vocalizing, and hitting or kicking the body. I guess everyone has their own way of handling grief, including animals. Number 9. Elephants Elephants have pretty striking similarities with human beings when it comes to dealing with loss. We both rely on friends and hobbies to keep us happy. Scientists have also proven that elephants are one of the few other species to pass a mirror test, meaning they recognize their own reflections. And just like us, they appear to mourn the ones they lose. According to a video taken by National Geographic, taken by Schieffer Goldenberg in Kenya in 2013, Several elephants stand over the remains of an old female named Victoria, who had passed from natural causes weeks ago from the time the video was taken. The elephant is also surrounded by other elephants that aren't related to her. The calves are sniffing at her, while others wonder why she isn't waking up. This clearly shows that animals mourn their losses, although we may never understand exactly how they do this. Elephants are also known to visit the bones of other buried elephants and touch their skeletons with their trunks. Do you guys think they feel grief like we do? Number 8. Burials in the Ocean For years, there's been anecdotal evidence that whales and dolphins experience grief similar to humans. In 2010 at Washington State, people observed a whale pushing around and nuzzling her calf for six hours, unwilling to abandon the body. Whales have also been heard crying mournfully when one of their companions is beached. Captive dolphins have been observed lying on the bottom of a pool, seemingly racked with depression after the passing on of a companion. Researchers like Tanya Luz in her report show that the majority of the mourning were females, with 75% mourning their calves, while post-mortem attention from males was very rare. Dolphins lack muscles to control their facial expressions, but their eyes are often filled with emotions, according to photos captured by researchers. If you think crying in the water isn't possible, then think again. Other sea mammals have also carried around their offspring for a while. This isn't an easy task underwater. Some researchers also observed dolphin moms trying to balance their baby's body on their beaks and diving after it when it sinks to the ground. When adult dolphins pass on, their companions guard the bodies for days as well. Number 7. Do Giraffes Mourn? The tallest mammals on Earth, whose legs alone are taller than many human beings, have an unusual mourning routine. And we're not talking about waking up. A researcher in 2010 investigating whether giraffes mourn in the camp was shocked to learn how giraffes deal with grief. When a giraffe passed on, hyenas came and began feeding on the carcass. The next day, vultures arrived and so on and so forth. During her study, after about four days, the giraffes approached the scene, where they had not been seen before. They stood nearby and just watched the body as the vultures continued squabbling over the desiccated remains. The giraffes just looked on and didn't bother chasing them off. They maintained distance and weren't closer than 10 meters from the carcass. Maybe the giraffes understand the saying that let the deceased bury themselves. What do you guys think? Number 6. Horses 
Horses normally face permanent separations, mostly due to human manipulation. They are sold, moved, and often weaned early and abruptly, rather than naturally weaned from their mother. What we don't think about is that the horses already have bonds, and this separation normally affects them. In a video that was shot in Arizona where horses mourn their own, an expectant horse passed on during childbirth, where the baby got stuck for longer than usual, leading the mother into a septic shock. Efforts to rescue the horses were futile. What followed was a touching sight, where the other horses show a strange behavior of social attachment. One joined and touched her body and cried out loud, attracting another group of horses, who seemed to know where the body was. They took turns, one at a time, to pay their last respects. They were respectful, quiet, and seemed to understand what had happened. It's not just members of the same family that mourn, but others showing up clearly show that horses have bonds, and even strong friendships just like humans. Would you guys agree with that? Number 5. Grooming in Consolation for the Baboons It's not an easy thing to say goodbye to our loved ones. Even in the animal kingdom, it's still heartbreaking. A new study reveals that baboon mothers have a hard time saying goodbye when they lose their young ones. Baboons' mothers often carry around their offspring for up to 10 days before finally letting them go. The study focused mainly on wild Chakma baboons living in the southern African country of Namibia. One mother seen holding their infants for 3 to 4 days, while others averaged up to 10 days. The interesting thing is that the mothers continue to groom their babies as they would have if they were alive during the mourning period. Some may argue that perhaps the animals just unaware that their young ones are gone. But other scientists share that the animals' bonds with their young ones are just as strong as us human beings. According to other researchers, baboons show strong signs of stress when a close companion is gone. The concentration hormones in their blood rises to deal with this sad moment. And baboons tend to reach out to friends and also dedicate themselves to grooming that helps in lowering their stress. Number 4. Mourning for Fish this has always been subjective, even for research. However, some researchers do say that fish do feel pain, just like human beings do. They also sense distress and probably fear as well. Fish also react to the passing of another fellow fish, but it's unclear whether this can be called mourning. In an aquarium, fish often remain still when a fellow fish passes on. Researchers say this behavior could be due to the stress hormones released in the water by the fish that's passed on. Few studies have looked into whether fish mourn, but nothing is clear, unless for the fish that live in pairs, like the French angelfish. Number 3. Dogs Dogs are the most loyal creatures on Earth, so it's expected when their loved ones pass on, they will mourn. Dogs not only mourn the passing on of their kind, but also human beings. One time, a dog named Bernie was recorded at the gravesite of his owner three weeks after she had been buried. It was clear to see that the dog was really sad as he lied there, howling over the grave. I just hope they got a really big hug right after. Number 2. Cat Mourning Of all the creatures in the world, you'd least expect a cat to mourn, if they'd even care at all when their owner passes on. I don't know about you guys, but cats just have this persona of being really mean and not showing much of any emotion at all. But surprisingly, they change when it comes to mourning. They get sad, they have a decrease in appetite, and they don't play. Cats may also sleep more than usual and move slowly as they sulk around. And sometimes, they really show that they're sad. Like in this case, with their owner gone, the cat couldn't stay away from the graveyard. The cat was recorded trying to dig out her friend, and despite people's efforts to pick her up, she kept on trying. It was really sad to watch. They must have a bond like no other. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in our future video. Number 1. Monkey Mourning and a Crow Funeral 
The first picture was captured in India by photographer Avinash Lodi. In an interview, he explained that he captured the moment the monkey let out cries in perceived anguish while clutching an infant in its arms after it appears to have collapsed. He sat down and watched their activities. The photographer also says that throughout his career, he had not seen anything like that picture. The second picture is credited to Kaylee Swift, who researched crows mourning. I'm sure you've heard the melancholy cries of birds like doves and crows and wonder what the issue is. Could it be a sign of grieving, which is common to crows, jays, magpies, and ravens? When a crow notices that someone they know has passed on, they'll let out an ear-piercing cry. Soon, other crows will gather around as the calling intensifies. Crows are known to be intelligent and super chatty and can even solve puzzles. They watch out for each other. As adults, it's pretty rare for crows to pass on. So when one does, all of them notice. Scientists have said that the calling doesn't necessarily mean that the birds are mourning. They could be finding out whether the place the tragedy occurred is an unsafe zone so that they could avoid it in the future. Crows have really strong memories and remember faces of predators as if it's not crazy enough. They do hold grudges. But those are the 10 ways in which animals say goodbye to the ones they lost. Which one of these was the most interesting to hear about? Would you agree that animals have emotions and mourn? Let us know in the comments. And thanks for watching.